Psychosis is when someone has a different perception in their own mind on reality, the world around them. What it doesn't mean is that they're going to come and kill you, or they're going to do crazy things or kill themselves. It just means that what they're seeing, they're hearing, what their thoughts are is different to what people usually experience. So in this video, I hope to break some of the stigma around psychosis. To be honest with you, before I had my psychosis, I didn't know anything about it. I'd heard the term and I was just like most people out there. I thought it meant you were a psycho, but that's not true. Um, it isn't what I thought it is. So when I had the diagnosis, that's initially why I rejected it, but it's not quite as bad as it sounds. So let's start with some common misconceptions. One of them being that it's a lifelong condition and you're permanently in psychosis. That's not true. As you can see, I'm not currently in psychosis. I've had it twice before. People get it for different lengths of time. I had mine for, I'd say probably at the heightened stage there was two weeks, so I was sectioned for a month twice, but there was two weeks where I was at my worst point in that psychosis. Some people get it longer, they get it months, years. Um, there are things such as like lifestyle, that being like stress, lack of sleep, uh, the relationships around you, which can heighten and prolong your psychosis, but you can definitely make a full recovery, which is great news. Um, Another misconception, going back to the intro, is that it's going to cause violence. So violence around you or you're causing violence to others or yourself, like self-harming. That's not true. It can happen, um, but that's not always the case. Again, just going back, it's, it's a perception of reality. It's delusional or called delusional thoughts. Some in psychosis may argue they're crystal clear thoughts, they're the complete truth, but they're just, it's different to the reality most are focusing on. I think that's important to remember. Um, another misconception that is that it's a split personality disorder. I, I get this one a lot. So like the people think that you're going to switch into psychosis and then back out, which does make sense because one of the mental health conditions where you can get or your more prone to psychosis is bipolar. And then another misconception around bipolar is that you're happy, sad, up and down, mood fluctuations. But psychosis is not a split personality disorder. It's, um, you could be completely normal and there could be things in your life that trigger psychosis, which on average may last anywhere from sort of one week to a month. Another one, um, another common misconception is that it's caused by drugs or it's drug induced or you're in a state of psychosis because you're in a high or a trip. Again, not true. There are certain drugs we know based on studies that uh, cannabis and in particular high THC skunk can cause psychosis or um, increase the chance of getting psychosis along with other drugs. Um, again, I don't know specifically which ones can cause it more but probably the more man-made harder drugs potentially um but again although that can cause the psychosis or like be a, a sort of root cause of it doesn't necessarily mean that the psychosis is is a trip but it can affect your brain and make you for example more prone to having panic attacks and anxiety when you're not in that drug induced state it could be you've taken them before so based on my experience i think it was the last time i i'd smoked weed or taken a legal drug before my psychosis was probably two weeks before but i'd been drinking alcohol sort of every once a week although i'd just come back from a, a stag do so it was quite intense but yeah um probably once in between so the week before I got psychosis and then as I was going through psychosis, drinking alcohol, shouldn't have been doing that looking back, but that 
definitely heightened it and triggered it for me. So to give you my story and what I witnessed in psychosis, um, I didn't see or hear anything. And that's a common thing and you can experience that in schizophrenia as well. So hearing voices, seeing things, it could be like a bad trip. Um, for me, it was solely delusional thoughts and energy of release, erraticness, being charged. I've mentioned before being charged on like caffeine or cocaine. That's how I can relate to it. And that I was sent on a mission by God or a spiritual figure to carry out good in the world. So that was that's, that's my story. I mean, and I was so sure that I had the right answer. I was so certain, so confident. Um, so, yeah, that's not seeing stars or moving flowers or things spinning like a kaleidoscope at all. It's just you, you may have seen people in psychosis before. I think this is important to raise this point and then how you can actually help others that could be going through it and what signs to look for. So you may see people in public that are screaming things about like Jesus and public figures and or they're walking with a certain pace their eyes look wider they look charged it could be on drugs or they could be in a, a state of psychosis and if there's someone that's i would say based on my own experiences when i'm i was saying these what could be delusional thoughts that i was so sure on all i wanted was people to listen to me and just kind of agree with what I was saying. The worst thing that would like trigger anger in me is when someone disregarded what I was saying. They're like, no, that's silly. That's not the truth. Whereas I, they weren't aware that I'd spent days thinking this thing through. It was so sure in my mind that, that what I was saying was true at that time. Yeah. As for them to say that that's rubbish, just yeah triggered a lot of anger in me um which made it worse which made me speak faster louder repeat that same thing over and over again as if someone was to sit down and one person did this in a hospital and just listen take on board what i was saying all i wanted to do was be heard and, and share a message so yeah if you know someone's going through psychosis i def definitely recommend doing that what else have i got written down Mm -mm -mm. yeah so definitely just to go back to like trying to break the stigma the negative cons consequences of the stigma around psychosis can mean that people that are going through psychosis can be mistreated or they're not getting the the diagnosis from professionals as early as possible which could affect their long-term care so if we know what we're looking for in someone's going through it by spreading awareness then they can get better treatment faster treatment and the result of that would mean obviously for their health the benefits but a relationship around them so the family the friends the loved ones the um, there can be a lot of negative consequences through psychosis but they can be minimized if there was a best treatment if more of us knew what we we're looking for so that to wrap up the video is why I try and advocate for greater awareness around psychosis if you want to watch a full video of me explaining exactly what it's like to go through psychosis click the video on the screen now and if you like the channel if you like what i'm doing then please like this video and subscribe and show you your support because it helps me be motivated to make more videos like this so yeah thanks for watching guys and speak to you guys soon cheers